Interesting. I mean, history is one of the sources I mined for evidence. I tried in some ways to sort of make this a synthetic book of everything. And so it's the game theory, it's the modern RCTs, it's the it's the contemporary case studies, and it's the histories as well. And so uh, the thing is, is so much of empirical economics has been a theoretical on the subject of conflict. It's just been this hyper empirical, it, it sort of ignored and abandoned the core theoretical apparatus we have for understanding violence um, at any level that necessarily a lot of the more persuasive evidence is coming from comparative, comparative politics and from international relations and from history, which is very qualitative and case-based and sometimes historical. So, so I hope that changes and I think it's already changing, uh, but, uh, but, but I think that was, that was, I was compelled. And then, you know, I think maybe I was able to do it more skillfully than otherwise, simply because I'd had some training in economic history and, and, uh, and, and had taught a lot of economic history, especially as a TA, like for years and years, I taught economic history classes, which, which is just a good way of teaching yourself history. Right. And so I wasn't dipping into these literatures completely naive, I think about you know, I, I felt there were lots of, I actually felt m more out of my depth in the game theory parts of what I was doing than in the historical and international relations kind of part of what I was doing. So, so, and I, I kind of had to try to master all of them. Right, right, right. Let's, let's get into the book then now. So